Hi, day 106. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I have been feeling really, really, really well. I think it's due to the fact that I was able to cut my um, two out of the three chemos down to 50%, the third chemo down to 40%. And, um, I, I believe that's helping like with any of these weird side effects. Like I fortunately have not felt nauseous at all. Granted, I'm on a nausea pill, but, um, even in the past I would take it and, you know, I'd still have just that little, that little underlying eh, feel, but I don't fortunately have it at all. And the medicinal I'm not feeling, so I'll lock that a lot. The other thing is, um, <clears throat> apologies, sorry, <clears throat> is um, I had the uh, genetic testing I mentioned last week, and uh, they said it was going to take a couple of weeks. It didn't. I got my information already uh, this morning, I think it was, and I have, it's all negative. So I have no cancer uh, transferable cancer cells in my in my genes and my DNA that are going to get passed down to the kids. That's great news. So woohoo! Um, it also leads me to believe that um, being that it's not in my genes and my DNA, I got this. So something somewhere, you know, I used to play and you know get pollywogs and frogs from these fields, <laughs> you know. Who knows? I spent a lot of time on my horse in, you know, in Chatsworth and in Porter Ranch. Who knows? There was a lot of, uh, what is it, rocketine, you know, waste out there. Who knows? Who knows? Um, it could have been anything. It could have been anything. But somehow I got myself into some nastiness. And uh, my body didn't like it, apparently. <clears throat> Sheesh, excuse me. Um, that's the way I'm reading all this information. Uh, you know, I think it would have, yeah, I would have had a different test result. Something would have shown up if it were hereditary or somewhere in my genes. And so far it is not, it's very open. That's not where it's coming from. So that's interesting. Uh, now I just need to kick it because uh, my body doesn't want it. My DNA is saying, you're a foreigner, exit. Um, all my markers are doing fabulously well. I am going to talk, Matthew and I are going to talk to uh, the, our other doctor at Cedar sinai on Wednesday when I get my next CT scan and we're going to ask him, you know, what I had asked my other doctor regarding CT scan as versus other scans to make sure that we can see um, all the cancer cells, you know, are more than the CT scan is, is, is able to show. I'm excited for that because I want to know. I want to be able to focus, like seriously focus on what, uh, what's in my body you know, what foreign little beasts are in there so I can, so I can think about getting rid of them <laughs> in one way or the other. Think them away, dream them away, medicate them away, freaking heat them away, eat them away. I'm doing everything. I am literally, I am seriously freaking fighting with every means that I can possible. Because, uh, yeah, I want my life. I love my life. I love my my freaking family and my, my kids and my Matthew and my animals and my friends. And yeah, screw this. This is, uh, this is an invader. This is an invader. <laughs> but I tell you what, you know, I'm going to go back to my silver lining. I have spent the most quality time with so many amazing friends and my family, you know, the past couple of months, but literally this week was like inundated. <laughs> 
with friends and food and just talking and just connecting and and just really understanding like I don't know life on a on kind of on a different level um I'm really appreciating it I I'm happy with the connections I'm happy with the amount of maybe slowing down slowing down possibly just maybe just certain things are just more important and maybe those more important aspects of my life have really concentrated and they're flourishing i guess that's my only way of being able to say it uh because it it, it just feels right and it feels like i'm just full of love seriously full of love See, the more love I get in my system, the, the less room there is for cancer to grow. Hey, hey, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Oh my gosh, I should make a bumper sticker. Um, the more, <laughs> let's, let's word that. The more love <laughs> I can get in my, in my body, in my soul, the less room it leaves for cancer to grow. Cancer is all kinds of things, by the way, right? Let's get philosophical about this. Cancer is any invader, any intrusion, any fear, any, any nasty that's gonna take life from us, life being our happy, loving, conscious, fruitful selves. Ew. Okay, I'm gonna get back to, uh, to saying hi, hi to everybody. I don't have my cat in front of me because he's sound asleep on Matthew's lap. So he's not gonna be like wandering in and just like taking over my screen that I'm looking over. <laughs> I hope he makes you all laugh. He, he does me, boy, especially when I'm feeling badly. Ooh, I look at him and it's like, <sighs> I feel good all of a sudden. He just sort of puts that, that little, that little happy, happy spark in my heart because he's just so innocent mm, little man yes we all feel that way about our uh, animals because they're cool they're the best so let's see what else uh, not a whole lot else going on I had a great day um, like I said uh, just a bunch of friends came over and a bunch of food and a bunch of love and we watched, Matthew and I just sat on the couch for like half an hour, an hour. We watched our silly show and uh, ate dinner. And now we're ready for bed. So like the day is already poof, gone. And oh yeah, my injector. That was kind of creepy fun. Um, I'm busy talking to uh, Tony was over and we we're just chit-chatting and we're outside just, just talking away. And all of a sudden I'm going, oh, I feel so weird all of a sudden. And she kept talking, I kept talking. I'm just like, oh, I feel really weird all of a sudden. And then I went, oh, I bet. And I lift up my shirt because you could see it. You know, it's like that big and it's flashing green. But now it's going beep, it's doing this, which means it's injecting this stuff in me to uh, produce or stimula uh, stimulate my bone marrow to produce. I'm slurring my words, to produce more white blood cells. So it's an obvious feel. I wasn't sure if I was making that up, you know, with, with what I had on me, but it's very obvious because I thought it wasn't going to take place for an, at least another hour or so. I thought it was going to be closer to five. It wasn't. It was three-ish. And it goes for like 40 minutes. And so we just, I'm like, just talk to me. <laughs> Make me talk. We'll just talk. We're just, so the whole time... The thing's just deep, 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 <laughs> and it's flowing, putting all this stuff in my belly, and um, and then all of a sudden it it made you know this ending sound like, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> and I look down and it says empty and it blank at this point, so we could rip it off. Yay! I am finally free of pumps and injectors and stuff. It's a night. It's a drag. Total drag. So I could shower. <laughs> I took a half a shower today, you know, hair in the in the tub and, you know, half my body in the tub and, you know, it's not the same. I'm looking forward to our guilty, lovely pleasures of 
showers, nice hot showers. That's the best. We're so lucky. Except for the fact that now we are starting to go through a water shortage again and um, it's going to be mandatory. Mandatory? Is it, uh, whatever. Suggested. Anyway, 50%. We're getting a, a water cutback. Toosh. So, 50% of what though? If we use a bunch of water now, is it 50% of that? <laughs> whatever. So, all right, that's it. I just wanted to say hi, say I love you all, I love me all, and that's it. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Um, yay, mwah and mwah and mwah. Good night. <laughs>